Hi friends, I'm Tanya, Summer, Skylar, and Dr. Bob. And we are excited to share our lesson with you today on God's gift of forgiveness. We are going to start with an activity. Do y'all recognize this game? This is Cornhole, one of our family favorite games. Okay, I'll go first. Oh, good shot. Thank you. Oh, good shot. <laughs> Ah, good shot. Great shot. Perfect. Good shot. Great. Good shot. So you both got something whether you hit the mark or not. Yes. What about this game? Well, you earn something no matter if you make a good shot or not. How did you feel when somebody else made a good shot and you still got the, the prize? I don't know. I, I feel like it was not fair. It wasn't fair. It wasn't exactly fair, but it was different. Yeah. Well, how's, how's getting a prize when you didn't earn it like getting forgiveness when you mess up? Um, <laughs> very different. Very yeah, different, yes. Because you really don't deserve the forgiveness either, do you? No. No, and that's one of the best special gifts that God gives us. So in the cornhole game that we just played, Summer and Scholar won a prize whether they made good or bad. The amazing and the wonderful thing is that no matter how, how many times we mess up in life, God is always willing to give us his free gift of forgiveness. With God, it doesn't matter if we're winners or losers or how many times we've blown it. He offers us forgiveness if we ask for it or not, no matter what it is. And he wants us to forgive as he forgives us. Today, we're going to participate in a story Jesus told about someone who messed up big time. In fact, there wasn't a whole lot more he could have done wrong. Let's see how things turn out for him. To participate at home, what you'll need are three grocery bags. And in the grocery bag, number one, you're gonna have an index card with the scripture reading, Luke 15, 11 through 14, written on it, a stack of play money, and a backpack. In grocery bag number two, you need a three by five card with, with Luke 15, 15 through 20, written on it, a dirty work shirt, and a plastic container with food scraps in it. And the third grocery bag has a three by five card uh, with Luke 15, 21 through 24, written on it, a bathrobe, a pair of men's sandals, and a ring. Our story today is about a kid who had it all. He had the best room, a Bible times kid could have, he had a neat family, and his dad was a wealthy landowner. But all this wasn't enough. That's all I'm going to tell you about the story. The rest is up to you. Take uh, take the three bags, divide up into three groups, and then uh, read the scripture that's on the card, and then we'll get back in a few minutes and discuss it. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. I hope you had time to explore the bags. Let me ask you some questions. How did it feel to take off with all the money in your hand? Oh, uh, it well, was pretty amazing. Good. They can spend it. <laughs> How did it feel to put on the dirty shirt and smell the food? Not too good. Yeah. Yeah. How did it feel to walk, be welcomed home with a big hug and new clothes? Good. It was, yeah, good. How, did, how were those feelings like feelings you had had when someone had forgiven you? Encouraging and... Um, um, yeah, it felt really good. Good. Guess what? This is not the end of the story. Let's see what the older brother had to say as I read to you from Luke 15, 25 through 32. Now the elder son was in the field, and when he came in and approached the house, he heard uh, music and dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on. The slave replied, your brother has come, and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has got him back safe and sound. Then, the son, then this son became angry and refused to go in. His father came out and began to plead with him. But he answered his father, Listen, for all these years I've been working like a slave for you, and I have never disobeyed your command. 
Yet you have never given me even a young goat so that I might celebrate, celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours comes back, who has de devoured your property with prostitutes, you kill the fatted calf for him. Then the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and that is all is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. Why do you think the older brother was so angry? Probably because, because he and his younger brother got more attention. He didn't get the attention well. like his younger brother did. Sure. You think the older brother had the right to feel that way? No. No? Okay. Well, how is the father giving a party for the long lost son, similar to how God treats people who ask for his forgiveness? No matter how much um, people mess up or in their lives, God will always love you and care for you. Good. That's right. Sometimes we might think like the older brother did, that a person doesn't deserve to be forgiven. But God wants us to always be loving and forgiving just like he is. God wants us to forgive as he forgives us. Let us look at a Bible verse that explains how God's forgiveness works. Summer. So, if you forgive those who sin against you, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15. So, maybe you can get a sheet of paper and make a road that looks similar to this. And on one side of the street, you can draw or write things that God has forgiven you for. And then on the other side of the street, you can um, draw or write things you need to forgive others for. So, you can go ahead and do that, and then you can come back to the video. Okay, welcome back. Hope you had a time to look at the street. Seeing it going both ways, let me ask you some questions now. How does it feel to look at the list of things God has forgiven you for? Felt pretty good to know how that much all the mistakes I made and all the things that God forgives us for. Good. Um, how does it feel to look at the list of things you need to forgive other people for? Felt good because it felt good because I know I make a lot of mistakes. Well, yeah, and forgiving other people would help. Does seeing the two lists side by side make it easier for us to forgive others? Yep, yes. I think so. Sure. That concludes today's lesson on forgiveness. Let's close with a prayer. Thank, Thank you, God, God, for the gift of forgiveness. And we ask you for your help in passing it on to others. Amen. Amen. Amen.